Hello guys, this is Agnieszka from Den of Imagination and welcome to Nykalo tutorial from Dungeons and Dragons with Kids Model series. This is a basic level painting tutorial, so if you are new to the painting world, this tutorial is just for you. Step 1. First, let's plan ahead which parts we shall paint first. When we are working with a model that is already fully built, sometimes we have parts that overlap each other. We also have to consider the techniques that we are going to use with the size of the parts of the model and adjust that to the order of painting pattern. On this model, we do not have a lot of details. The skin, the wings and the skirt are definitely the largest areas, so we will adjust our techniques and order of our steps according to that. Let's start with the base. Take black paint and a large round brush, here we have size 4, and cover the base with the even layer of color. Add water to your paint to make it more liquid and start applying the first layer. Later the color may not be even or not deep enough, so most likely you will have to add a second layer after the first one gets dry. Step 2. Now for the skin take dark green and cover with it the entire skin, except the membrane of the wings. Do it in the same way as with the base. Paint it with the paint mixed with water. After the first layer got dry, add another if the color is visibly not strong enough. Do not worry if you overpaint anything. Later we will cover those places with another color, so it doesn't matter. Step 3. Now take olive green and white brush size 6. With dry brush technique we will prepare the first layer of highlights. With this technique it is very important that the bristles of your brush are completely dry, so do not dip your brush into the water. Just take a little bit of the paint on the tip of the brush and wipe it out on the paper towel. When you see the mist effect on the paper we are ready to go. Start to stroke the surface of the model like you would clean it from the dust. Very slowly the color will start to appear. Build the strength of the color gradually and try not to fasten the process by applying more paint on the brush. In the beginning it is safer to work with a small amount of paint while working with dry brush. You can always dip your brush again and add another layer, but if you take too much paint and you will not wipe it out correctly, then you can create smudges on the model that will be very difficult to clean off. It is also worth mentioning that the paint is still a liquid, so if we use too much paint on the bristles, we can make them dump and the dry brush will make a mess. So until you will get used to dry brush technique, try to work with as little paint as you can. Step 4. Alright, before we will start with another step, notice that after dry brush we have green dust on the base. Clean it with another brush. 
later the dust may actually stick to the surface and we will have to paint the base again. Actually, while working with dry brush, cleaning the model with a clean brush from the dry brush dust is a good habit to have. It helps to keep the model clean. Now we will change the technique to glaze. Take the same color, olive green, but change the brush for the round brush. On the places that we covered with dry brush, we will add a thin layer of olive green to make the color stronger. Mix the paint with water so it will have this very liquid, half-transparent character. Apply it on the places of the model when the dry brush emphasizes the sculpture of the model. Do not apply it in the places where we have shadows, I mean where the dry brush didn't hit, so we will have shadows as well as lights. The combination of dry brush and glaze done with the same color is the easiest way to create a smooth transition of color. Dry brush always weakens the color, so after adding the layer with basic glaze with the same color, we can achieve the same effect as we would while working with many thin layers and with two colors. And also, the dry brush helps us to see the places on the sculpture where the light brings the form of the model out. So if you're not sure how to choose places for the highlights, the dry brush makes it much more easier. Step 5. Now take olive green and beige. Mix them together to achieve a lighter shade of olive green. Try it out before you start to applying it, because you can make it too dark or too light. I made it a little bit too light in the first row, so I'm adding more olive green to find my half tone. Then I'm applying it on the upper halves, so the strongest light is on the top of every muscle cell. Step 6. Since the skin is ready, we can proceed with other parts. Take black brown and a large round brush. Start to apply the first of this color on the wings, skirt, horns and the spikes on the arms. While working on the wings, there will be places that the black brown meets with the olive green. Later we will cover those places with dry brush, so do not worry about overpainting one color with another or that you have very visible line of two colors. Step 7. Let's focus on the wings first. 
When the black brown is even and dry, take red leather and white brush size 6. Apply dry brush technique on the wings. Try to apply the color evenly on the both sides of the membrane on the both of the wings. Step 8. Next, take Parasite Brown. We will use the dry brush technique again. Very important is that when we are working with a dry brush with technique with more than one color, we should always work with a clean brush for each of the colors that we work with. So if you do not have more white brushes, remember to clean it before you start to apply another color. You can use water, but before you start painting with it, wipe it out very thoroughly with a paper towel or just give it a time to get dry. There are also other cleaners, like polish remover for example, that gets dry faster than water. Apply the Parasite Brown on a lesser surface than the red leather. Step 9. Take Parasite Brown and Beige color and mix them together in the same way as we did with Olive Green. Add it on the veins, on the membrane and fingers on the wings. You can use fingertips to blur the edges.
Step 10. It's time for the skirt. Take cavalry brown and a wide brush with dry bristles. Take a little bit of the paint on the tip of the brush and wipe it out on the paper towel. The skirt is made of thick folds, so when moving your brush rather than moving it across the folds, move along them so the brush will cover more surface. If we would move the brush across the folds, the color would stick only on the crest of the fold. It's perfect for the layer highlights, but not for the first layer of color. Step 11. This time, with Parasite Brown, move your brush across the folds, so the color will concentrate on the highest parts of the skirt folds and create the visible highlights. Apply it only on the legs on the back of the skirt, so we can still see every color that we used. The same as with the skin, we will add glaze with Parasite Brown to add some strength to the color. So take a round brush, mix Parasite Brown with water and add a thin layer of color on the places that we covered with Parasite Brown by dry brush. Step 12. We still have some unpainted parts. Take black paint and cover with even layer the blade of the axe, belt, wristbands, tips of the wings and the claws on the feet of the nightcloth. While working with the black paint, you can also paint inside of the mouth of the model.
Step 13. Now take the black and white paint and make a mix of those two colors to create darker grey. We will use it on the black parts. On the base use dry brush technique, while on the smaller parts like belt and wristbands take round brush and add grey color with lining or glaze. Concentrate on the folds like we did with the skirt. On the clothes and the spikes on top of the wings, just paint a single lines with lining. However, do not use the grey color on the blade of the axe. We will highlight it with the metallic silver on the next step. Step 14. Take silver paint and clean white brush. Cover the blade with this color with dry brush technique. To create the illusion of the light reflecting on the surface, first cover the axe blade with thin mist and then concentrate your movement on the sides of the blade, leaving the center of the blade darker. Do the same on the other side, but remember to change the direction, making the light go down the blade on both sides. Then on two points on the ends of the blade, add some layer by moving the brush in another direction, making a cross. That way the color will get stronger. Step 15. Now for the golden parts take brass metallic paint and put an even layer on the ends of the belt, bracelets and hand of the axe. More likely, especially on the hand, you will have to put two or even more layers. Step 16. Now take black brown and mix it with a lot of water, thus creating a wash. Cover with it golden parts thoroughly. If you apply too much, just clean your brush with water, dry it out on the paper towel and then take the excess of the wash off. Step 17. After waiting some time for the wash to dry, take silver again together with a white and round brush. For the axe hand, take a white brush and add silver highlights with the dry brush technique. For the golden details, take a round brush and add highlights with lining. Step 18. Take beige color and again round and wide brush. First cover the horns of the Nikoloth with beige by dry brush. You can also use it on the bigger spikes on his arms. 
Try not to overpaint the skin. Next, take a round brush and add some layer on it with glaze. Paint also the smaller spikes that were too small to use dry brush on them. After this, take white paint and add blocks of light at the ends of the spikes. Step 19. The main body is finished, so we can paint the head. Take cavalry brown and round brush. Paint the insides of the ears with an even layer. Do the same with the tongue. Later, take beige red and again with the round brush make a thin layer of color on the ears. With beige red, cover only the outside halves of the ears so the inside will stay darker. With beige, covering the teeth. You don't have to paint them all, just touch the front of the teeth with the side of the brush. I accidentally overpainted the lips, so I will just cover the stain with dark green. Step 20. Now prepare three colors, black, beige and white. We will start with black. Mix your black paint with water and print wash. Cover the eyes areas with the black wash to enhance the shadows around the eyes. Then paint the eyeballs with the white paint. It will be our base coat. If you make a mistake, like me, just correct it with the dark green or black. And then take beige and cover the whites with it. And that's it! The model is ready! I hope that you enjoyed this painting tutorial. Be sure to share your results on social media and tag us Den of Imagination. We would really like to see your results. If you have any questions about the tutorial or you would like to see a particular miniature painted, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, please click the subscribe button and bell notification. It helps the channel. See ya!